Michigan offensive lineman Elliot Miller grew up in Wauseon, Ohio, a small town about an hour from Toledo. Like an overwhelming number of Ohioans, the Mealers were passionate Ohio State fans. That all changed, though, when Elliot accepted a scholarship to play football at the University of Michigan. Elliot's father, Dave, and brother, Brock, instantly adopted the maize and blue. And as you're about to find out, at Brock's time of greatest need, the maize and blue also adopted him. All right, killer, let's go. I just remember praying to God that someday I would walk again. The major hurdle for me was just if I tell people I'm going to walk and then I don't, what are they going to think of me? I went over to the hospital and saw Brock. Try it again. Nice job, there you Brock. Go. Nice go job, Brock. Brock. Come on. I like this fight. I like the fact that, that he didn't take it with a with a negative uh, grain and say this isn't going to happen for me. There it is. There, you there go. it is. He's Come on. Stay go. with it. Stay with it. Stay with it. Take it again. Take it again. Come on, Brock. Easy. Come on, Brock. Easy, Brock. You're on. You're on. You got it. Just keep stepping. Just keep stepping. Pick it up. That a baby. Stay with it. I remember Mike Barwith telling me, you know, whenever I thought I was ready, you know, I could come over there and work out with those guys. Then we'll do some real work. We had a pretty simple conversation. You want to walk or not? You let me know when you're ready. We'll we'll get after it. That was excellent. Won't be long, killer. Time's coming. Rolling pretty good now. You had a good workout then. Yeah. I didn't even, I didn't even know you. I forgot you were coming out tonight. You said you were being out later, but what time did you get here? I wasn't sure exactly how quick or what exactly it was going to be, but I knew when Mike got his hands on him, it was going to produce results. When they say they can get you walking, they definitely will do it. I don't know. <laughs> For them to open up their arms to my brother is just um, something I can't put in words. When you get a guy like that and you can spark him, you can drive him, you can get him to be fired up, you can get him to believe he can do things because you believe it. He'll do it. He'll do it. When I saw his determination, and particularly when he started rehabbing up here and working with our strength conditioning staff, I said, you know what? I'm going to give you a challenge to lead our team out of that tunnel. I know they gave him a 1% chance of ever walking again, and we took that as a challenge. You see someone in need, and you've been given the gift to be able to help that person, uh, that's the first thing. We all jumped at it. I had two vertebrae shattered. My back was broken. The surgeon came in my room to talk to me about it. I remember really vividly like her telling me that I'd never walk again. When they told him that, he, he just kind of looked at him kind of like, well, you know, I'm not interested in that part. I, I know I'm going to walk again. I couldn't really think of a, a much greater honor than to lead the team out. When I'm out in front of 115,000 people, they're all yelling. I can't imagine what I'm going to feel like then. I'm just going to have nightmares, you know, I'll dream about, you know, where I'll be in the next few months. The most vivid, uh, you know, memory I have is that when, um, we were, you know, just five minutes from home and, uh, and seeing that car um, approaching that stop sign so fast. I just remember struggling to, to get out of the car. I realized that my legs weren't pushing at all. This volunteer came. Uh, up on the car, he asked me if um, if the man next to me was breathing. I've had so many great moments where uh, 
I finally accomplished something like walking with the canes and uh, my dad, he's the first person I want to call and I have to stop myself and um, but that's really when I think about what he's probably thinking about all this. That's one of the main things that keeps me working hard because I know how hard he worked every day to take care of us. He's been through several years of suffrage with a family. They, uh, they've been through some situations people shouldn't have to go through. On that moment, he's going to overcome a situation that he was placed in. He didn't choose to be in. He made no mistake to make it happen. He did nothing wrong. Three steps. Let's go. One, nice. Two, nice. Two, three. Three. Woo! God. He's going to show that family that there's hope in any situation. Miller has one year left in a master's program at Ohio State. He continues to commute to Ann Arbor four days a week to work out with the Michigan strength and conditioning staff. He hopes to be walking with just one cane within the next few months. He's also spent the last few weeks speaking to high school teams in Northwest Ohio about his experiences. And by the way, Rich Rodriguez showed that piece to the Michigan team at their pregame meeting last night. 